In this video, I'm going over how to soft reset your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 if the screen is freezing or the touchscreen is not responding. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. In the video today, I wanna to walk you through how to soft reset or force restart your phone if you're having issues with your touchscreen. Now, disclaimer, this does not always fix the problem. If your screen has a, a serious issue, then this may not fix it. But for um, a lot of cases, if your phone is just having some general glitches or issues, this is a quick way to restart it um, that should fix those little glitches. So here's what you need to do. You're gonna hold down on the volume down button and the power button until the screen goes completely blank. Watch this. So volume down, power, hold. Now it's gonna take you to this screen first and in a few more seconds, the screen will go totally blank. When it goes blank, let go of the buttons, just like that. Now, from here, you're gonna wait anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds, and what should happen is the phone is going to automatically turn back on, and you'll know because the logo will pop up, just like that. Um, however, if your logo never pops up and you've waited more than about 30 seconds, you can simply hold down on the power button to turn the phone back on. Now, what this is supposed to do is it mimics the process of uh, like taking the battery out of the phone and putting it back in. That's what we did years ago when you could actually take the back of the phone off. Um, so this sort of mimics that process of just totally restarting the phone. And in most cases, if you're having some type of a glitch with the screen or it's not working properly, this should fix the problem. However, if it doesn't fix the problem, if your touch screen is still not responding properly, then I would encourage you to go to samsung.com and connect to their web support or go to the contact us section and um, speak to a representative and they can direct you to the closest uh, certified repair center in your area that can help you diagnose the phone further and let you know if it is something that can be fixed. They'll also let you know if you're still under warranty, all that information. Um, so anyway, that's what you do. Hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care, and as always, have a good one.